Alright guys, welcome back to Hero Villain Mashup, where I take one hero or heroes and pit them against a villain from another form of media. And today, as you can see right here, yeah, the Doctor versus Vandal Savage. What would that be like? The Doctor if the if Vandal Savage was in the Doctor's uh Rogues Gallery. Now, yeah, the Doctor's encountered uh immortals before. He's you know, he's done battle with immortals before, but well, not real. Well, a few times, Rassilon and uh, a few others, and he's befriended immortals such as uh, Captain Jack. But Vandal is—I think Vandal is uh, just a whole other ball game for the Doctor. I think you know this would be a villain he would run into throughout you know points in Earth's history. You know, dating back. You know, I'm going by comic book standards, and that would be all the way to the Stone Age with Vandal. You know, <laughs> he's not Egyptian, he's a caveman, you know. Um, but yeah, I would have it that the doctors encountered him multiple... Would it just be like they would have encountered each other multiple times throughout uh, points in history? And the thing about the doctor is that he does get a little leery around the immortals. I mean, if you guys remember that episode of... Uh, what was it? the epi I can't remember. Um, the first part of the Master story arc in in Series 3, where we get uh, Captain Jack back, and he's a little leery around him, and almost like, bo <laughs> like they even make the joke that, oh, I'm racist towards immortals. I think that would be is that the Doctor would instantly sense the first time he meets Vandal that, okay, this is somebody who shouldn't be here, or should be alive this long. And that would be fun, like, have, uh, I would love to have a Doctor Who villain that would, you know, not so much the Master, and you could say, oh, well, the Van Vandal Savage is the Master without the TARDIS, and you could argue that, but I think it would be cool to have a villain that the Doctor can meet in different points in Earth's time, rather than a one-and-done villain. Have it that, you know, you have an immortal, you know, you have this immortal that the Doctor just runs into, whether it be in the distant past or the far future. Someone who, you know, kind of like me, there's another character, who, or a shielder, or whatever the fuck you want to call her. Uh, that character, another immortal. There you go. Um, just have an evil version of that character, and you get Vandal Savage. Now, Vandal, I think Vandal would be very interested in the Doctor as well. Not just in, you know, oh, you have a machine that can travel through time and space? I want that. I so want that. But the thing with the do with um, the other thing that would interest the Doctor is that, excuse me, Vandal would be so interested by the Doctor about, well, well what would interest the Doctor about to him would be that kind of, you know, oh, you know, you may be, oh, you, you can change your face. You have this kind of also sense of immortality. And how, in, you know, I would, I want to have that kind of power too. I want to have the power to, you know, in case I ever do lose my immortality, I can have a way to re, you know, rebirth myself into a new life, you know. I think Vandal would be interested, curious in that, like having this kind of immortal with other limits, you know. Um, now, Vandal is a very clever person. He's a, you know, he lives up to the name Vandal Savage, but he's, you know, he's incredibly intelligent. He's the, he's the power behind the, he's the power behind the power, and incredibly intelligent, and I think him and the Doctor would play these definite um, cat and mouse type games. They would just be at each other's throats, uh, and in case of a, you know, they could even go into a knockout, dragout uh, brawl between each other. It could easily lead to that from playing games in the shadows between one another to up front, I'm going to take it this sword and put it through your chest. And again, I'm going to go with current, you know, uh, you know, current doctor, doctor number 12, but you could, but really you could apply this to any doctor. Like you could have it that, the, you know, the doctors encountered him through multiple points in time and multiple points in his different lives. So you could literally have the doctor just, you know, what the first time he meets him, he could be either like, uh, he could either be Tom Baker or Peter Davison or William Hartnell era Doctor, and then another time he meets him, he could be another form, you know. And the and Vandal would always recognize him because of the box. He would always be like, "I've always wanted to see inside, you know, see that it, what's inside that box," and I've always <laughs> and I've always wanted that power for myself. Um, because I'm pretty sure Vandal would love to use time travel, even though he doesn't really need it, because, well, he can just take, you know, he can just time travel the long way round. He can just sit and wait. But really, he can just, you know, I think he would just be like, oh, I want to see if my legacy can go even further. I want to see if I can really just use this machine to fuck everything backwards. Which I'm surprised at, at the same time, I'm like, 
in Legends of Tomorrow real quick. I just want to bring this up. I'm kind of surprised Vandal Savage doesn't just steal the, you know, a ton, you know, if he, I, I'm pretty sure he's he's not stupid and he's figured out that the, the people chasing him are time travelers. I'm, yeah, I think he, he's even said, yeah, you guys somehow travel through time. So, why not in that case try to steal the Wave Rider and, you know, use that or try to reverse engineer it to make your own time machine? I'm pretty sure that may be a case in a later episode. I'm just kind of thinking to myself, why not just do that at, the, at some point, you know, some point? That probably will be the case, but yeah. Anyway, but with uh, the Doctor uh, the doctor and Vandal, these two would just be at each other's throats. Um, it could even be that the Doctor, like I said earlier, would grab a sword and just be ready to fight at a, mo at a, you know, the, at a moment's notice and just be absolutely ready for anything Vandal would have. And I'm pretty sure Vandal would have some uh, tricks up his sleeve to handle the Doctor. Like, I'm pretty sure he would, you know, play prey on the Doctor's weakness, you know, to protect other humans. He would, you know, more or less put him through some sadistic shit, like, oh, you know, you like that, you know, you know that girl, you know, that uh, girl you like, what's her name? Uh, Martha? I'm just gonna wait around, and when you least expect it, I'm gonna rip her spine out. You know, you, you know, you can travel through all points in time, I can just sit and wait. You know, you're always go go go. But I'm, but if anything has taught me since all, uh, you know, since that one day under the meteor, it's told me to be patient. And trust me, I'm very patient. So that's kind of how it would be like. Is the doc he would, you know, I think Vandal would definitely prey on the Doctor's love and kindness, and really just, you know, kind of just screw, just kind of fuck with him, and just be like sitting around, just being like, yeah. I, you know, I'm when you look at it, I'm everywhere in time, and I can just strike anywhere, couldn't I? I could, you know, you can't stay in one timeline forever. Not because you ha you want to, because you have to. You can't stay in the same place. You know, you always have to be traveling. Me, I could just, you know, I can wait. I can wait. And when the time's right, yeah, I'll kill one of your friends and send you the tape. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of the scary thing. Now, could the doctor kill him? Yeah, he could probably. Fi I'm pretty sure the doctor could find some contrivance to, you know, get rid of Savage, but he hasn't used that on uh, either Ashilda or Jack. He has no reason to. But yeah, I'm pretty sure if it comes down to it, he would find a way to make it, you know, Vandal Savage want to die in some case. Uh, because that's who the Doctor is. He can use your own power against you. So he could either, like, decapitate Savage and just chuck his head in the bottom of the marina trench and let the pressure just crush his head over and over again as Vandal tries to scream, but he has no vocal cords, so he's screaming in his own head for all eternity. Wow, I thought that way too through. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of like, why not just do that to Savage? Just decapitate him and throw his head and in, like, the ocean, like, the deepest part of the ocean, the pressure will just keep crushing his head over and over again, and he'll be locked in his own thoughts as the pressure keeps crushing his head, and he has to re regenerate constantly. Eh. Anyway, so there you go, guys. So you guys tell me, what do you think it would be like if the Doctor and Vandal Savage were mortal enemies? How do you think that would go down? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this. This was a, pr this was a pretty fun one uh, to do. So really interested to see what you guys have uh, have for uh, uh, for on your take on you know this kind of rivalry between these two. What would that be like? Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.